wish you could all see the view that I'm looking at. This is very, very nice, and I'm very proud to be here. Um, I've got a membership application in the Libertarian Party for Gary to sign. I have a voter registration card. Thanks to uh, Mike Blessing for uh, bringing that. And so we're going to make it official today that uh, Gary Johnson is going to join the Libertarian Party. And as you said, uh, as he said, he's going to be seeking the uh, of the uh, nomination of the Libertarian Party. So I'm delighted to be uh, back here in uh, New Mexico. Um, I actually spent a bit of time in uh, New Mexico, in Wordsburg, New Mexico, when my dad was a train master for the Southern Pacific Railroad uh, back when I was a teenager. And I'm glad that uh, Gary is here to become a dues-paying member of the Libertarian Party and to register to vote as a Libertarian. But I also want to note that I'm actually welcoming Gary back to the Libertarian Party. Uh, I know uh, through looking through our database, when uh, Gary was the governor of uh, New Mexico, he was actually a dues-paying member of the Libertarian Party. And one of the reasons why I'm here is because, of course, we have had past uh, candidates in Congress like Ron Paul and and uh, Bob Barr and uh, Mike Revelle joined the Libertarian Party, but we've never had a two-term governor, and so I'm delighted to be here and to welcome uh, Gary. To give you a little background, the Libertarian Party was formed uh, by David Nolan, the late David Nolan, as a reaction to the wage and price controls that were imposed by Richard Nixon, and also um, because he took uh, the United States off the gold standard, and we now, of course, are living with the consequences of that. So indirectly, Richard Nixon actually helped form the Libertarian Party. We just recently celebrated our 40th anniversary on December 11th, and I'm looking forward to the next 40 years. You know, Libertarians believe there are three ways to handle any social economic issue. One, do it yourself. Two, convince other people to do it. And three, force other people to do it. The first two are both voluntary and moral. The third, forcing people to do something, is both involuntary and immoral, and we reject that. Libertarians believe in a voluntary society where individuals are free to choose their own goals, their own beliefs, their own careers. In short, libertarians believe it's your life, it's your body, it's yours to control. Sadly, most people in government don't adhere to that principle. And in fact, they want to interfere with your life and they want to control your life, and we reject that. As I welcome Gary Johnson into the Libertarian Party, I'd also like to extend an invitation to everyone hearing this to join the Libertarian Party and to help restore constitutional rights and the Bill of Rights, which have been sadly stripped away by both Republican and Democratic administrations during my lifetime. To Democrats, I ask, if you still think government should help lend a helping hand to those in need, I ask you to look at the evidence. Government always helps themselves first, and everyone else is second. That's why we have more poverty, not less. More homelessness, not less. To Republicans who still believe in small and limited government, I ask you to look at the evidence. Every Republican administration over the last 60 years grew government spending. To Occupy Wall Street folks who think government should regulate and tax the rich. Again, I ask you to look at the evidence. Big businesses love regulation because it gives a competitive edge over small and medium-sized businesses. That's why the rich grow richer. And they're in, that's because they're in bed with both the Republican and Democratic leadership. I think it was Mark Twain who once remarked, when the legislature controls what is bought and sold, the first thing bought and sold is the legislature. To Tea Party folks who still think the Republican politicians this time will hold their ground and not cave, I ask you to look at the evidence. And lastly, to independent voters, as Gary mentioned, the fastest growing set of voters who have rejected both the Republican and Democratic parties who have already known that part of the problem is the Republican Democratic Party and they are not the solution. I ask you to join the Libertarian Party and to vote for Libertarian candidates as the only real alternative to the status quo. Every political party except the Libertarian Party has lost voter registration from 2008 to 2010, the last years we have figures. 
So voters are rejecting the duopoly that we call the Republican and Democratic parties. They are the two sides of the same coin. In 2012, the Libertarian Party will attempt for the fourth time in its history to achieve ballot status in all 50 states. No other third party has accomplished this feat in the last 100 years. And we accomplish this all without taxpayer funds. Albert Einstein once remarked that insanity is defined as doing the same thing over and over again while expecting different results. For voters and non-voters alike, don't expect things to change by voting for incumbents of either political party, the establishment parties. They are the problem, not the solution. Don't waste your vote. Vote Libertarian for a chance. Thank you very much. And we get to I have my check quickly that I will give you this afternoon. Where shall I sign? So right here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think so. Maybe on the last one. Tough to get old. And I all right, and the other voter registration card. Voter registration card. This feels good. <laughs> Great. All right. <laughs>